Hey guys, welcome back to Madbird Plays the Banner Saga. So last episode we, um, we, as a Hakon and the Vile Caravan, we got to Ridgehorn, which is one of the, one of the several big fortresses that were built to uh, contain the dredge, and uh, we found it pretty much all in ruins, and we went up into the tower, and we got ambushed by some dredge, and we found some magician guy who was still alive, and uh, apparently he's a mender who... I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure they're these sort of uber magicians who, um, sort of, they managed to seal off the dredge in the last big war against the dredge or something. And, uh, so he's injured, we're waiting for him to wake up. In the meantime, we're trying to figure out how exactly we can get out of here since they built this, uh, tower on a completely isolated, uh, completely isolated sort of, like, upthrust of rock with a very skinny rock bridge connecting it to the rest of the world, so as good as that defensive planning might be, it makes it pretty hard to get out of here, so uh, I guess we're going to have to pick one of these options. So, bait the dredge into attacking and wear them down, break through the front lines and don't stop. Send the shield bangers forward and fight defensively. Go all out, strike hard and drive them off. Send a diversion to draw the detention and escape. Um... bait the dredge into attacking and then wear them down, that's probably what I'd do. Let's do that. Right, if we can get enough of them to split off, we can handle them a lot easier. Might be worth a try. Consider other options. Oh, let's see what he says about all of them. Break through the front lines and don't stop. Could work, says Morgan, as long as everyone sticks to the plan and there aren't any more dredge than we expect. We'll make a big show of force. If we split into groups and meet up again at Schlid, we're less likely to be surrounded. Send the shield bangers forward and fight defensively. A, lines, a line of shield bangers might... We, a lines of shield bangers, we might be able to force their way... Oh, there's some really weird English in this game. Uh, a line of shield bangers might be able to force their way over the narrow pass and put us in a much better position. Could, could be a safe option, but it depends on exactly how many are out there. Goal out, strike hard and drive them off. Well, that's how we'd usually deal with a bunch of dredge. You're right, though. The old methods might still be best. And if we can st and if we can win this fight on our own terms, we won't have anyone following us all the way to Grothheim. Hate to admit it, says Mogi, but this might be the safest option. I just wouldn't expect to see them again. He gets a strange expression on his face. I'll lead, he says. I can make sure you and the others escape. I don't want Mogi to get... off. Let's... Let's bait them into attacking and... Oh. Yeah, let's bait them into attacking and wear them down. We're doing it. You send Val forward to harass the dredge. A couple come down to engage and are quickly fell, toppling over the cliff. No more take the bed. No more take the bed? No more take the bait. Instead, hurling exploding stones at any warrior close enough. You'll have to change your tactics. Pull back! We might have just lost any advantage we had, says Mogir. The fight's going to be a little harder, I think. Fantastic. Um, send the shield bangers forward and fight defensively. We're doing this. Your shield bangers gather at the front of the group and push forward towards the bashing maces and exploding shrapnel. With a few casualties, the caravan has crossed the land bridge. Now it just remains to fight your way out. As Mogra predicted, they surround you from every direction, and they start cracking heads as soon as the shields give way to the crush of enemies pushing past. Oh shit, I didn't rest. Oh god damn it. Well, this is going to be interesting. <sighs> oh, there's quite a few of them as well. Um, so a bunch of them have got, a bunch of us have got less health than usual. He's got a lot less health than usual. They're both pretty low. They're gonna go up to him. He's gonna go up to them. I guess. I want to switch these guys around. So you go. You go over there, you go there, you go there. No, because then he might attack them. Oh, fuck it. Straight into it, Hagon. Hagon smash! Oh, there's blue. I don't like that. Blue is different. I don't like different.
Attack, 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 damn it. There we go. Crack. And it comes to come down and shoot. Oh, he did not get to shoot. That's nice of him. Um, armor break. Yeah, these ranged assholes are going to be annoying. Was that a special thing? Sunstrike, a blinding explosion prevents the target from using exertion for one turn. If that's what happened. Uh, this guy, come down here. Might actually be able to finish this guy off. Oh, so close. He's going to very quick try to call in reinforcements. I like that. He sort of slices his arm or something. And look at it. <laughs> oh, I'm easily amused. Okay. Come over here, Bercy. Can you do the whole... Yes. Yes, you can. Nice. That could not have worked out better. Come over here and finish him off, Hakon, please. Easy done. Come on up here, Moga. Big guy's gonna go after Bercy. Oh! That was not nice. That was very not nice. Um, come up here, get one back. So hopefully you can nearly take this guy out. Of course it's his turn. I wonder if uh, strength governs how much damage they can do, since they're not really using their strength to do it. Oh, I'm a break. Oh, I forgot you can only break one armor. It's useless. Poor Bercy. Um, yeah, Luton, you can come up here. Oh, Percy's dead. Shit. Oh, I really should have rested. That was fucking stupid. Oh. Luton's a tough motherfucker. I'll give him that. Go, Yurik. One down. Oh, there goes Luton. Okay. What's his special thing? Malice. Constant to attack him. Might as well. Has he got any? Yeah, he does. He just can't use it. Nice. Right there, buddy. Crack. Oh, and Eric is dead. Yep, down he goes. Very slowly. These slinger guys are gonna be the fucking death of me, I hate them. Hakon might be able to finish this guy off. No, he's not gonna be able to finish him off. Um, cut him down to size though. At least guys, these guys are using, mainly using that thing as opposed to actually trying to damage me. Salt's up here getting stuck into all the slingers. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna call for some help. But Hakon is not gonna let that shit happen. Actually, Hakon can't stop it happening. Hakon can fuck him up while he's doing it though. Nice deflect. Up here. Oh god damn it, one health. 
one arsing health. Yes, finish him. There we go. No more backup for you, Reggie. Over here. Bring the pain. Slowly working fucking poor Fasol down to death. Yes. Everything's coming up Val. Bang. Pillage. Oh, because Fasol's fat ass is in the way, I can't get to this guy. Bang. Anyone's off in that direction. Hey, gone. Finish the fucking job. Crack! Victory! If I was laying dead your feet would regret ever crossing your path. If they were still alive. So promoted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Renown. With the first wave of dredge out of the picture, you, you stop and take stock of the battlefield. Your warriors are doing as well as you could hope. Fortunately, there were enough of them to pull it off. The dredge are furious, but falling quickly. You think you could safely outdistance them at this point. You're almost free of this nightmare. What to do? Get out of here. <laughs> you take stock of the survivors. It hurts to think how many of you lost you have lost to get this far, with nothing but an unconscious mender to show for it. You hope it was worth it. I hope so too. There's Richard. Caravan's looking a little bit smaller now. Sadly enough. <clears throat> oh. Now you travel on up to Schlid. Oh, fucking hell. Straight up to Grothheim. Take on. Join me a moment. There's something I thought you'd want to see. Is it a welcoming party from Grothheim, bearing mead? That's about the only thing I want to see. No such luck. The men from Ridgehorn woke up. He says his name is Avind. Avind. Sounds like a Mender name. How is he? Not well. Where are we? A day or two from Grothheim. We found you at the Tower of Ridgehorn. What were you doing there? Grothheim. No, 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 that's the wrong way. Juno. Where is she? Where's the woman who was with me? She didn't make it, my friend. We only brought the living with us. No, we have to go back. I don't think so. We barely made it out two weeks ago. Do you know why the dredge were crawling all over Ridgehorn? Dredge! We have to go back! It's a damned graveyard, boy. I'm sorry, Avin, but the girl is dead when we got there. What we have to do is tell Jorundur what's happening and prepare for a bloody war. So if you... she is dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Avin looks, suddenly looks spent. He slips to the ground, and you motion for Zamval to help him onto the cart. Not what I hoped to hear. Not sure what I was hoping. Come on, Ubin. The sooner we get to Grofheim, the better. Dread grips me as we approach Grofheim. None of us expected to see a city unscathed. But what we find steals the very breath from my lungs. Shit, son. Chapter 4. Lest They Not Come Home. So Grofheim is boned, apparently. That doesn't seem like a good thing. I'm assuming we're going back to Rook. I like those three mountain names. Now if I can remember correctly, last time we left Rook, we had just gotten to Frostvalir. 
Frostmelier, Frostmelier, who uh, had basically closed its doors to all the refugees in the area because the um, chieftain had locked himself in his like castle, not castle, his, his great hall. And um, we managed to talk our way in, Rook and Ivor, his vile buddy. And uh, let's see what's happening. What did I tell you, Rook? The man sta has a crazed look about him. He stands, axe pointed in your direction, on the other side of a dozen men. Akil, you son of a bitch. Remember what I said? Think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Akil walks away, leaving you to deal with his thugs. What an asshole. Okay. It's nice to have people who aren't horribly injured. Um, let's do this. I haven't fought humans in a while. Oh, oh, there's people on this side as well. They even brought ladies to fight us? What assholes? Um, Trig, oh, you can come over this way. You too. Come right down here. And you can stay there. Dum, 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 dum. What's this thing? Battering ram. Knock adjacent. Knock adjacent unit up to four tiles with one armor damage, one per unit they pass through. No, oh, let's just. Break armor. Nice. Look at how squishy humans are. What leaf? Whoever this person is. They smacked Rook. Smack him back, Rook. Um, oh, she's got the thread the needle thing, doesn't she? Nice. Let's do that. I didn't want to do this. Yeah, you did, don't I? Uh, three, Kvay. Is that Mogan? Because I didn't want Hulk Hogan. Arch is nearly dead. That was bold. Um, let's break armor on that guy as well. I think I'd take it. Nice deflect. Let's. She only got one? No, she just doesn't have any more. Okay. <laughs> Nearly finished him off. That was a tough old bugger. Oop. And Alette is dead. Not taking too good care of her. Now let's take care of this guy. Work, Morgan. What did he just do? Stonewall, I'm guessing. All right. He doesn't have much. He doesn't have much strength left. Um. Oh God, I was dead. Do any damage to him? Okay. Do one damage to her. Oh, I thought she. Oh, that's the one with one health. But she's got seven of. I killed the one with one health. Man, I'm a retard. Um. Come up here. And let's do the mark thingy on this guy. Nice. 
That wasn't too nice, actually. That was pretty crap. Now, Old Leaf is in terrible danger. I am not good at this game. Um, what have you got? Yeah, you can finish this one off. Good work, Trigvi. Good work, Morgan. That is nice. I need to use that in future. Good work, Rook. Critical hit. Come down here, Morgan. Finish it off, Rock. Rock, Rock. I love that he puts his axe in the ground, that's a pretty cool touch. Victory! The foe is laying dead at your feet, blah blah blah. Trigby got promoted. Morgan got promoted. Rook got promoted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, renown. Hate to admit it, Rook. But you're right. We can't stay here. If we're not murdered in our sleep, it's only a matter of time before the dredge find their way in. There's nobody defending these walls. You spot Alette looking at one of the thugs. She cocks her head to the side. Uh, Dad? I think he's still alive. Ivor lifts him by his lifts him to his feet by his tunic. He groans from the pain. This guy again. Why did Akil try to kill us? He's a damned lunatic. Figure that yet? Why would Frostbella Frostbellier's chieftain put a madman in charge of his guards. That's what he told you? He never put Ekiel in charge. As soon as those gates were shut, Ekiel walked into the Great Hall and sliced open the chieftain like a narwhal. Saw it myself. Ekiel wasn't a captain. Look at him. I'll kill that bastard. Dad, please. Let's just get out of here. Anywhere. By now the dredge have already flooded the south, I'm sure. Wormtoe worm is the only thing that makes sense across the wastes. I might know someone there who can help us. And the dredge probably won't follow us out over the wastes. They didn't in the Great Wars. Because it's a death sentence? Food's already running low. I know where Akil keeps his supplies. I'll tell you. If you take me with you. What's the catch? No catch. I want out of here as much as you do. Just never had anywhere to go. I'm not the only one. Get the supplies and there are plenty of fighters who are desperate to get out of here. That might solve a few problems. If we're lucky, I'll get the chance to put a dagger in Akil. Either way, he's going to feel it. Suddenly running out of food might change his plans a bit. What's your name? Onef. Why do you... Just wanted to know whose face I'm going to break if things go wrong. Uh, can we rest? We can't rest? Damn it. Because I have injured people. What's Onef? He is a backbiter. Uh, let's replace Mo uh, Morgan. Everyone needs promotions, don't they? He doesn't need a promotion. She doesn't. He does. Confirm level 2 hunter. Uh, better armor break. Let's... Trig me. What's his ability? Impale. I need to use that. I keep forgetting that he has it. Better break and... Better exertion. Morgan... Better strength. Done and done. Um, let's try out Onef. Um, let's go to market as well. Actually, comb of the Loom Mother. Even the godless will he hesitate to break down the Loom Mother's chosen few. Bring the wolf. Now let's bust the supplies. Actually. So I've got four days worth of supplies. Um, there's nowhere I can rest. God, there are a lot of dredge out here. 
Um, fine, let's just go to the supplies then. Onef leads you to an inconspicuous building. This is them, he hands to the, he, he says to the hand, oh, this is them, he says to the handful of guards inside who lower their weapons. In a concealed basement, you find an enormous store of food and sundries. Grab what you can, he mutters. Uh, take multiple trips to take everything. Hauling the entire store of supplies out of the basement takes more time than you expected. Each moment you imagine a kills men ran in the corner. Yells in the distance mark that fear becoming reality. You get the others out and emerge from the building in time to meet them in battle. Um... Yeah, that'll do. Ivers is not in a good way. What do backbiters do? Run through, run through two spaces to break each unit on the way. Plus normal strength to target. Plenty of backbiters. They're all injured, apparently. Nice. She's an injured shit. Well, where's Rook? Because Rook's not injured. Where is Rook? What the fuck? Oh, there he is, right up there. See, he's not injured. He is injured, okay. Fuck it, Rook, we want you down here. We want you in the thick of it. Olette, we don't want you in the thick of it. Not, neither do we want you in the thick of it. Olette. Let's put you there. Put you down here, Strigby. Put you here, either. Break all of his armor in one fell swoop. Like a boss. Um, let's use that rain of arrows thing. Hang on, actually. Move. Rain of arrows there. Seems like a good prospect. Ooh, poor Ivor. Break. Oh, you're yeah, not. That was not good. Um, ah! Oop! Oh, so close! Three guys in a bad, bad way. Um, take down his armor! Like a boss, Trig V! He's gonna show that. ONF. Come here. And then run through that way. Oh, that was nice. Oh, I like that very much, very, very much. Don't like that so much. Onef is going to get fucking creamed. Um. Hit that bitch oddly. This archer cow is going to come up here, probably shoot at Onef. Oh yeah, Onef's not in a happy way. Um. Armor break. Now let's a badass, Jesus. I can slaughter that guy. Work trick V. Leaves dead. Let's do your dope ass run through thing again on this guy. Nice. Even when you're dying, you still fuck shit up. And Trig V is very, very nearly dead, I can only imagine. I was just standing there breaking armor like a boss. ONF is dead. But so is the guy that killed him. Immediate vengeance.
This is going to be bad over here. Since Ella has nobody to back her up. Um, you're running low on. Oh, we can only do a maximum of most. Okay. Take out the guy then. Oh no! Archer, that one's gonna shoot a rook. Deflected it, nice. Oh, that's gonna get. Oh, let's get him out. Oh, oh. Yep, oh, that's dead. Very, very nearly. Um, make it easier for Rook. And let it down. It's Rook on Thrasher, or Rook on Backbiter, rather. That's a really cool move. I need to use that backfighter guy more. It is done. Victory! Rook got promoted again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Renown. Before long, the last of the stores is cleaned out. As you're turning to leave, a valuable looking necklace with a deep green stone catches your eye, and you decide to keep it for yourself. Onaf leads you and his trusted fighters out of the city before more men show up. Bodies in dredge fill the fields in front of Frostvalier. You consider the best way to leave. And I think... We are gonna leave it... Is this them down here? I think this might be them. Just watching all the dredge. Oh shit. That is quite a lot of dredge. Okay. I think we're gonna leave it there. For this episode, guys. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying Mad Bird Plays uh, the Banner Saga, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye.